welcome back to yet another YouTube video. It is your girl in way and there's absolutely no way without going through the way. Um, so I am a little more pumped for this episode than the previous one. But like obviously the past two you saw that I was like a little bit in my feels. So I had to like go consult with the Lord before I you know decided to come sit down and take another one. But this is day 12. I am oh, it's been a journey. I've learned so much about love so far and the conference is like on its way and I feel like God is really just opening way and making way and I briefly want to share a testimony with you guys um, about just the compassion and love of God and how it works because um, there was obviously as a believer like as I've been in faith for a very long time um, I like I've been in faith for a very long time. I don't even know people can black out when they're drunk. So, um, and this is a testimony because um, in that moment when I saw these young ladies, they one of them was blacked out and the other one was struggling to carry this one out. I like, I just came back from youth. I'm tired. Like teenagers cry a lot. I'm tired, you know. And then like. The securities are just like no 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 like just wait here and they, they were not even helping that's the frustrating part like they, they were not helping they were just looking at them and i'm like why then i remembered that probably they've seen a lot of these people walk in <laughs> today to them it's just like this happens every single friday so then the, the, the girls are walking right and i'm sharing a testimony to uplift this the mood and to show you how much just devoting myself to the love of God and really like the impact of this devotional is having on me as the person that's actually making the devotional because I just thought you know I thought I thought I you know I'm there when it comes to love you know but I'm not clearly so um then I see I see these girls I'm coming in like I just dropped, got dropped off I'm entering still pack as well and they're walking and then I'm like my direction is like the opposite direction to where they're going so and everybody else is just ignoring them and then my flesh wanted to be like no 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 um, they are drunk I'm a Christian <laughs> and then the Lord convicted me instantly religious spirit what is this since when and then the spirit was like that Holy Spirit inside me was like what would Jesus do then I walked up to the girls and I helped carry them and I felt such great compassion um, and I say this because I grew up in a house where my, my dad was an alcoholic growing up and he would get drunk come home with my mom so yo, I said that like it was nothing <laughs> but it was a very um, interesting time of my life but what I'm trying to get at is that because I have such a negative relationship with alcohol I hate it like I hate the devil and I hate alcohol <laughs> like I hate it like I will never just drink like ever like I know that drunkard and drinking wine to like in my head no for various reasons but one of them is trauma related and so I never when someone is drunk I, I just it's difficult to show you love because I'm just like you are not in your right set and yesterday like that day like I genuinely after that compassion I felt I was like oh my word this is love this is what the scriptures mean when it says he leaves the 99 to go look for the one and I held this girl up and the other friend like watches my youtube channel and she's like oh my word hi I know you like I'm your subby and I'm just like okay girl how are you and in that moment I felt like this is why I do this this is why I sit in front of a camera and I let my heart out I cry I do whatever I share my testimonies I share my life I share my day in the life this is why I do what I do even if though like YouTube for me is just a video diary that has now become a point where 
I can impact people and just seeing that yesterday she messaged me today and I sent me a DM and I saw it and I'm not, I'm not even supposed to be on Instagram for different reasons but like I saw her DM and I know that God intended for me to see it and I then was like wow but this is incredible point of contact was salvation right there like because if she watches this channel there's no way she's gonna miss this devotional there's no way she's gonna miss God there's no way she's not gonna want to go and see and taste and see what I've seen you know yeah I just wanted to share that but let's just get into today's devotion <laughs> I really got into very deep and everything and whatnot but so today is a day number 12 and we're gonna talk about how love always trusts so what is trust right so I went and then I looked into the scriptures you know like I mean definitions and the first thing when I think about trust is belief like I don't know it just pops up in my head and it's like the definitions are to trust is to believe in the reliability oh my word I'm trying to say it properly in the reliability truth or ability of this means love always believes first before it disbelieves so this is before it denies anything it first believes and love always relies on truth which is Jesus as established by the scriptures and like yesterday I spoke a lot about the truth being the Word of God well the truth being in the Word of God you know and therefore to love right means that you should be saturated by the truth which will lead you to trust the God in people and I think for me yesterday as I shared that testimony with you if you don't know the testimony go check it out on my YouTube uh, like under this devotional like so day 12 this devotional love on distrust there is a testimony waiting for you on YouTube if you're watching this on TikTok or on Instagram right and for me yesterday that moment of choosing whether or not to help that student that I blacked out was exactly what the Lord needed to show me and reveal to me because um, what is happening yes was exactly what the Lord needed to show and, and display to me and so um, day number I'm oh, sorry excuse me pardon me apologies I think I'm even going to just read from my my Bible with my Bible so far <laughs> But anyway, um, so day number 11 is clip cut, so I'm recording this like a few days later. But I was, I think, no, was it day number 11 or day number 12 that cut? I think it was day number 12, sorry. So I was supposed to read the scripture for in 1 John 4 verse 16. I need to grab my Bible quickly. I just came in. Okay, my Bible is right here. Sorry. I need to also go on to anchor things I forget so first John 4 first John 4 come on come on come on John come on John where are you John so obviously before the book of Revelations first John 4 I've got that anchor and call uh, it's like ugh, come on now the one time I need you to go straight to what I want you're taking your time Okay, there we go the mic's already on there so that's great so I'm just gonna you know jump straight into the recordings because clearly the enemy was really against me finishing like this episode but the Lord is good and the Lord is love endures forever so I am going to so just explaining for the people that are on the podcast that the other clip um, for day number 12 actually cut so I'm going to quickly read the scripture and I think that it's in 1st John 4 the 16 is yes, that reads as follows um, and so we know and rely on the love of love God has for us God is love whoever lives in love lives in God and God in them and I had written down that um, to love right, you should be saturated by the tr by the truth, which will lead you to trust the God in people. And I say that because every single time our 
we are, we are tested to believe in people constantly, to believe in people, to trust people. And the enemy attacks us the most in that area because God uses people to get to you. God uses people to bless you. God uses people to um, show you his goodness and his grace and his love and his care. I gave a little mini testimonies like in day 11 about my friends and how God has really used them to show me different versions of love, to teach me different versions of love and to teach me as well how to be secure and create a secure attachment and i just want to say like we need to allow the word of god to be so alive and to be so truthful and for it to speak to our lives and speak to us and change us and transform us and renew us because we need the word of god in every single area of our lives and that is just going to be the end of day number 12 because i, did, I already feel quite disconnected from the, the devotional because i did not necessarily finish off the that day because the memory what do you call this thing um what do they call it oh no i forgot yeah but like the memory situation <laughs> memory situation uh what do they call it i'm trying to find the word for it um the um, what do they call it the memory yes it's, it's the memory yeah the memory card was full and then it stopped recording unfortunately but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed today's devotional and it's day number 12 i cannot wait to jump straight into day number 13 i've got some news for you sis see you guys tomorrow bye, -bye. have a blessed day it's a saturday tomorrow is sunday and by the time you guys see this i'm gonna be at conference so it's gonna be fun and then saturday pastor sam is gonna be at church that's so awesome i'm i'm really excited i just cannot wait